today we're talking about triads and inversions. So a quick recap on the triad. Triad, three notes, our basic three note chords. Uh, the triad that we learned earlier is our root position C major triad in our how to play a chord video. Now, what does inversions have to do with triads? When you invert something, it means that you change the position. You actually flip it upside down. Just flip it! Flip it! So what we're doing with our three note chords is we are changing the order of the pitches, the notes, but the chord is the same. Same harmony, same chord. Just now the note order is reversed. So we have three positions. We have a root position, we have a first inversion, and we have a second inversion. Uh, if you take a look at the graphic, you may be able to find out why we don't have a third inversion triad, because it goes right back to the root position. All right, so real quick, why are inversions important? Yeah, why? Well, they help us move on the piano, so much like a gymnastic uh, competitor has to stick their landing, we want to stick the landing of our hands. Using triads with inversions, it's much easier to move positions on the keyboard. Secondly, Understanding triads and inversions makes it easier to simplify music, not only in the learning process, but for instance, if a student wants to learn a complicated song with maybe a simpler melody, they can turn a complicated accompaniment pattern, right, the chord pattern, into just basic triads and inversions. The less you move, the easier it is to play, and the faster you're playing a song, and the more fun you're having. Oh, how fun! Yay! All right, so now let's find that chord shape. We're gonna go to our root position C major chord, that nice C position we're always starting from. So the first thing we have to do is find this position. We have to invert those notes. So our bottom note, that C, is now gonna flip up to the top. So our new bottom note is an E, our next note is a G, and then now that C is our top note. You'll notice that the distance between that bottom and the top note is bigger. So your hand actually has to open here. So we're gonna put our thumb on that E, first finger. We're gonna put our second finger on the G, and we're going to put our fifth finger on the C. Try moving back and forth with this position a few times. Really see the difference in the shape. See how in our root position, there is one note, one key between each of our chord tones, right? When we move into first inversion, the E to the G has one note in between it, but now our G to the C has two notes between it. You want to be able to feel and visualize these shapes. It's the same shapes everywhere on the keyboard. So if your hand can remember this distance, you're going to be in good shape. Because if you try and play a G major first inversion, an F sharp minor first inversion, the distancing and spacing of the fingers is going to be the same. Alright, now it's time to try all first inversion chords. So just like we did in our how to play a chord exercise video, we're gonna just move these chords up one note at a time. It's very, very important that you keep your hand shape the same and you keep the fingering the same as you move from chord to chord. Remember, we don't move down and out, but we move one over and over. So it makes these little baby arcs on the keyboard. Now let's try it with our left hand. So, same thing that we always do. We're gonna start with this left hand, that pinky on the C below middle C in our root position C major chord. Okay, so let's find this first inversion position. So we're gonna move that C up to the top. Our new bottom note is an E. The next note is a G. And that top note is now a C. Double check that fingering. It's different than the right hand. So we have a pinky on E, a third finger on G, and that thumb is on C. All right, just like before, get comfortable with how the shape feels, how it looks. And when you're ready, start the exercise.
So, now that we have the hang of this, we're gonna try it hands together. Same thing, but it's really important that we work on moving our hands as a unit here, not one at a time. If you feel like you gotta like move your right and then take a look and then move your left, that's all right. You just really need to go back to hands separate. But if you're ready, here is the exercise, hands together. Alright, now it's time for that third position. So, let's go back with our right hand only. Find that C major first inversion chord. So we got that E, the G, and then the C in ascending order. Now it's the same principle. We're going to take the bottom note, so now we're going to take that E, and it's going to flip up to the top. So now, our new order of notes is G, C, and E. Take a second, feel that shape. Notice how there's two notes between the G and the C at the bottom of the chord now in this second inversion, unlike the opposite, which was in the first inversion. Really get comfortable, double check that fingering. Now we're using a third finger in the middle instead of the second finger, like in our first inversion. When you're ready, then we're gonna try playing these second inversion chords going up. Let's find this left hand, second inversion chord. So we're gonna start in that first inversion position with the left hand. We got our pinky on the E, third finger on the G, and our thumb on middle C. So just like before, we're gonna take that bottom note, flip it to the top. So now our new chord order is gonna be G, C, and E. Watch that fingering because now we have our second finger on the C. So Get comfortable with this position, move back and forth between first inversion and second inversion. Look, see, feel how this is in the hand. When you feel comfortable, we're gonna try playing these second inversion chords ascending and descending.
All right, so we've learned root, first, and second inversion triad positions. Now for the fun part. Try different chords in different positions. See what they sound like. Have fun. Have fun, have fun. Ah. Bye. I mean, that's what ultimately music is supposed to be, is fun. The purpose of these videos is to teach you technique, to teach you basic principle, but we learn through the application of process, not just by observing the process itself. So just try stuff. Well, let's try it out. Have fun. Maybe look up a song that you want to learn. There's so many different song tutorials on YouTube. That's not really my goal. I don't really want to do that. I would prefer to teach technique, musicality, and then when you look up some of those song videos, you're going to be able to play in a way that's fun. You're going to play in a way that is enjoyable. So keep trying your exercises, find some music that inspires you, and stay patient. Music is really fun, but you got to you gotta let it come to you. So I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what's good. And I hope to get back to you guys. All right, stay powerful, y'all.